And with those hot temperatures, the Lincoln Children's Zoo is trying to keep their animals safe and cool. Yeah, they're also looking to offer people a new exciting way to escape the heat. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Macy Meyer joins us live now with more. Macy? That's right, Ron and Megan. It was a hot day today, and it seems it's just going to keep getting hotter. Now, the Lincoln Children's Zoo says they're already on top of keeping their animals cool, but they're hoping a new feature will offer some relief for their visitors. Some of the animals at the Lincoln Children's Zoo are no strangers to the heat, but for those who are used to a colder climate, the zoo has something tailored to them. All the animals have air conditioning access, especially the red pandas and the snow leopards, so the animals are pretty spoiled here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Chapa says when it gets too hot, they also make fruit popsicles for the herbivores and even blood sickles for the carnivorous animals. He said that they actually start to watch out for the heat issues a lot sooner than you'd think. Every species has a different temperature, so that's why we're just constantly on top of the entire situation for all the animals. You know, it starts getting over 85, we just start running up the red flag just everywhere to make sure everything is taken care of. Chapo says he hopes a new splash pad feature will encourage visitors to come explore. It just opened a couple of days ago. Kids were just complaining about being hot and sweaty, so this is the perfect option for them right now. But it's not just the zoo taking precautions in the heat. If you need a place to go, the Belmont Recreation Center will remain open until 8 p.m. Wednesday through Friday. Most Lincoln City Library branches are open until 8 p.m., Aging Partners has a limited number of fans on a first-come, first-served basis to adults 60 and older. They are located at 1005 O Street, and the program also accepts fan donations. And back at the zoo today, while I was here, the animals were out and they were very active despite the heat, but we do want to remind everyone to be careful and to not overdo it. Some good advice. All right, Macy Meyer reporting live from the zoo here in town. Thank you.